work frame, job framework. The good news, the good news, the CSU agrees. Yeah. Yes. But we need the state legislature and the governor to fund our raises and to fund our future. CSU staff have been working, have been overworked and underpaid for too long. Despite this, we, st we stay. We stay because we love our students. Yeah. We love our jobs. We love serving the great education our institutions. But now is the time to pay staff what we so rightly deserve. Are you ready for a raise? Yeah. Woo! That's great. To win that raise, we need to do two things today. First, we need to lobby our legislature to add funding to our raises and the state budget. Legislators and state government need to hear from you all. If you're ready for a raise, make sure you sign in, okay? Make sure you sign in and complete a postcard to the legislature urging them to fund our raises in the budget. But that's not all. Second, we need to build our team of coworkers here on campus who will lead the fight to win raises. I'd like to welcome my member, organizers, colleagues, Jeanette. Jeanette, raise your hand. Okay. Hey, raise your hand. Okay. Hey, Jeanette, you want to come up here? Okay. 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 You can take two steps to win the race today. Complete the postcard and talk to me, Jeanette, and Emily to build our team to win that race. This is not an easy task, but together we can accomplish great things. Thank you so much for all of you here. Again, it is truly my honor to stand here before you and with the CSU and other unions on campus in one voice to support our study. So, introductions, we're going to have, I believe, Luis Pacheco from APC. Do you have a few words you want to say? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what do we want? Market wages! What do we want? Market wages! Now! <laughs> Thank you, Louisa. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'd like to next introduce our Teamsters, <laughs> Teamster members. We have Mike Nurian <laughs> over here from our sisters and brothers of the Teamsters. Thanks, Fortune. You're welcome for inviting us. And I think this is really important for everybody throughout the whole CSU system. We really need to push for the step races to come back because those were taken away from us in early 2000. And there's a lot of people, because of the step races not being here, they don't want to be here. They don't want to work here. So we don't want those people to leave. They're good people. Um, we need their you know, their experience on this campus. Uh, to lose the experience of individuals on this campus, I think, is not a good thing. So I think we all need to stay together and be strong, uh, push hard. You know, uh, I think somebody wants to come up here and talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all need to stay together. It doesn't matter what unit you're with or whatever. Um, it's definitely wrong, and we all know it. So we need to stay together, push hard, and just continue the movement forward to get these step raises back. That's important. Um, otherwise, the CSU 
CSU is not going to be a good place to work. So it's right. important that we all stick together. And, uh, especially our campus is very unique. We're very family oriented. We're different from other campuses, so we want to keep that family mentality here. We're making waves with the president and the VP to try and bring unity back to our campus. Uh, or not lose it. We still have it, but we don't want to lose it. So we want to keep that family mentality here. Let's respect everybody's place and stay together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Now, it's my honor to introduce to you our fellow, our fellow salary study supporter, President Sandoval. for our students, and I know that you all understand that when a student gets a degree from Fresno State, what do they do? They leave Fresno State, and then 80% of them stay right here, right in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, what happens? They elevate the quality of life of your neighbors, of your family, of your people, of us, of our community. This is really the, the perfect circle that happens at Fresno State. It is faculty, and staff together that actually make student success happen each and every day. It happens on an everyday basis. When I was chair of my department, I realized the value of having someone who was there to support me. When I was provost, I knew of the value of having somebody there to support me. Now as president, I have someone who is there to support me as well. I don't take a single step, a single step on this campus I don't take a single step outside my house without first